By now, you should have a pretty good grasp of things like domains and subdomains. In fact, if you look at a picture like this, you should be able to see things like the XYZ domain, which is inside of com, which is underneath the, the root domain. But to really understand DNS, you have to uh, learn about zones and delegations. And they're a little bit different than domains. And I want to show you zones and delegations with this picture here, but not, not quite yet. We're going to show you something a little more familiar, which looks kind of like an organization chart for this company. So let's uh, kind of look and see what we got here first. What we've got is this company called XYZ. It's divided up into three divisions, the human resources division, engineering, and marketing. And marketing is pretty small. It's just got a couple of people working for it. HR is a little bit bigger, so it is subdivided into payroll and personnel, each one of which has a couple people in it. And then engineering is the biggest division of all. It's divided up into development and testing. Testing has one person in it, but development is broken up into the web and mobile divisions or departments, uh, each of which has a couple people in it. Now, um, so this company is headed up by a CEO or president. Let's say uh, his, his name is Steve. And uh, HR is headed up by Phil. Engineering is... Stacy and marketing is Chris. So we can kind of say that that um, Steve uh, runs the entire company, but has uh, delegated responsibilities for various divisions off to other people here. For example, uh, Chris here runs the marketing department. Now, be, because this is a relatively small department, Chris says, "I'm just gonna, you know, run the whole thing myself." Um, same thing with Phil. Uh, Steve has delegated off the responsibility for human resources off to Phil. So this is Phil's area. And then finally, um, engineering belongs to Stacy. Now, Stacy can't run this entire thing. And so what, what Stacy's decided to do is find a manager to run development. Let's say this is Stan. And so Stan has his own little area here. And then the rest of it belongs to Stacy. So I'll, I'll get to what the, this circle here looks like in just a moment here. So what each one of these division directors has done is, is they're going to make kind of like a, a phone directory for each one of their divisions here. So, so Chris is going to make one here. I'm just going to write down that this is the marketing phone directory. And we're going to put two people in there, Bob. Let's say Bob is at extension 20, and Frank is at extension 22. And then Phil's going to do the same thing. So this is the HR phone directory. and But, but we got a little more complicated thing going on here because uh, Jan works in payroll. We're going to have to list uh, uh, the department that Jan works for as well. So Jan, who's in payroll, let's say the, she's at extension 32. Here's B. She also works in payroll. Um, maybe she's at extension 33. And then Frank here, which is a, a different Frank from this one over here. That's why we're writing down what department they work in, uh, personnel. And maybe Frank is at extension uh, 41. And then Stan does a similar thing. So he makes his list. Let's see, this is the development phone list. And here's Dan, who works in web. Maybe he is at extension uh, 53. And then there's Sue, who works in the web development. Maybe she's at 57. And then Sam in the mobile area is maybe at 58. And then uh, what's, what's Stacy going to do here? Let's see. This is the engineering phone list. So Stacy's got Dan working directly for her. This is a really small department here. So Stacy says, I'm just going to be the manager for Dan. So we're going to write down Dan, who's in testing. Uh, maybe he's at extension uh, 18. And then 
But but because development is run by Stan, Stacy says, I, I don't really care what Stan does. And you know, Stan's made his own phone list here. So I'm just gonna write down that development as a whole is maybe at extension five. So we've got these uh, circles drawn here. We've got these phone lists here. And I think now we're ready to draw uh, the circle around Stacy. Stacy's area, you know, obviously includes Dan and testing, but also includes just the top part of Stan's area. And, and so what this is saying is that, that Stacy knows about Dan and the testing, but all Stacy needs to know about development is that it's run by Stan. You know, let, let's say a phone call comes in up here at the top. Phone call comes in and Steve or Steve's assistant picks it up. And let's say the person is calling for Frank over here in personnel. So what Steve's going to do is going to say, oh, well, they're asking for someone in personnel. Uh, I know personnel is part of HR, so I'm just going to hand off the call to Phil. And then Phil's going to consult his list here and say, okay, uh, they're looking for Frank. They're in personnel, uh, extension 41. So they're going to direct the call to extension 41, and, and this call is handled. Um, let's say another call comes in, and this person is looking for Sam over here in mobile. So Steve says, okay, well, um, not, not only are they looking for uh, Stan in mobile, but they know that the, the caller knows that, that Sam works uh, in the, the development, and also development is within engineering. So Steve receives this call and says, okay, he's looking for Sam in mobile development engineering. I know that engineering is handled by Stacy, so I'm just going to hand off the call to Stacy. And Stacy looks in her book, which is over here, and says, well, I don't know Sam's number, but I know that development's at extension 5. <clears throat> so I'll just hand off the call to extension 5, which comes over here to Stan. Stan looks in his list here and says, ah, I know what Sam is. Sam works in mobile. He's at extension 58. So that, that's kind of like how, how calls get routed through this company is each one of the people that has one of these lists looks on it to see where the call should be handed off. So this, this kind of begs an important question here is what list is Steve looking at? So actually, Steve's got his own list, which uh, I'm going to have to squeeze in somewhere over here. Let's, let's maybe put it over here. So this is for XYZ company. And it says that HR is handled by Phil. And let's say HR is at extension 2. Uh, engineering is at extension 3. And marketing is at extension 4. All right, so, so there's Steve's phone list. So again, let's say a uh, call is coming in for Dan. Uh, Steve receives the call. Uh, the, the caller says, I'm looking for Dan in testing in the engineering division. So Steve says, well, I don't know Dan's number, but I'll hand you off to extension three. So the call comes in to Stacy. Stacy looks in her list and goes, uh, let's see, where's that? That's over here. Ah, says, uh, I know, I know where Dan is. Dan is in testing, is in extension 18. So there you go. And then that connects the call into Dan directly. So here's where all these terms come in. Uh, you can probably guess what this is already, but each one of these circles here is a zone. So there's the marketing zone, there's the HR zone, the development zone, and the engineering zone. And finally, there's, there's the big one here at the top, which is the XYZ zone. So we can say kind of like um, the... Each zone is an organizational area of a domain. So it's not necessarily an individual domain. You can see that they kind of overlapped and they have kind of an odd shape here. And sometimes uh, zones can be kind of deep and sometimes they're rather shallow. So it just depends upon who wants to take responsibility for routing information through these domains to their ultimate destination. So each one of these zones has information about it. And each one of these zones also, particularly if there's one below it, has information about how to get to the one thing below it. And so like here, here's Stan's example here. There's only, uh, Stacy only needs to know how to get a call to the top of the development, how to get a call to Stan. And then Stan takes over from there and routes the call down to its ultimate destination.
So, so I guess you can kind of say like, you know, a zone is a thing, an organizational thing, and a delegation is, a, is an action. Each one of these zones has just a little bit of information in it, but they, they get connected together through connections like this one right here that says to get from engineering to development, just call extension five and whoever answers will be able to, to route the call directly. Okay, so, so now we're kind of done with this picture here. Let's go back and look at that first picture that was at the start of the video. So this is essentially the same picture, but it's just drawn in, in domain format. So you can probably already see some of the things here. You know, right here is where the top of the XYZ domain starts, but it's also where the top of the XYZ zone starts. And there's a zone right here. There is a zone here around development. There is a zone around marketing, a little tiny one. And then engineering's got one. But it overlaps the, the top of development just, just by one, just enough to be able to connect in the two together. And then XYZ itself, the entire company is a zone. And so so where does that go? So that Basically, everything that is at that top level underneath XYZ is a zone. The COM domain, which is also a zone by itself, delegates off responsibility for the XYZ domain off of to, to, to I think it was Steve, and then Steve delegates human resources off to Phil, it delegates off engineering to Stacy, delegates off marketing to... Chris, and then um, these, these little stragglers here like www and mail, those just get handled by Steve. Steve, you know, if a call comes in and says, I need to talk to the web server, Steve says, oh, I know where that is. It's just right here. Um, but again, you know, if somebody wants to talk to someone over here in the, the web department, then Steve has to hand it off to Stacy. Stacy hands it off to Stan, and then Stan directs it off to where it's supposed to go. So I, I hope this video kind of clarified what a, a zone and a delegation is and, and how they differ from domains. You know, like I saw I said at the beginning of the video, there's domains all over the place here. Basically every single one of these words in this picture is a domain, but the zones can be larger pieces. So, so as we go through all these videos, you're gonna see how zones and delegations and domains kind of all relate to each other. And then when we start putting together the the, the databases and the files to make an actual DNS uh, domain, um, the, the zones and delegations will, will come back and you'll see those terms again.